The microclimate of the cities, they have impact on other physical variables, which in turn have impact on human health. For example, the amount of heat of the cities, they, it can generate other pollutants, and these other pollutants, they can have impacts on human health. So together, heat and pollutants have impact on cardiovascular diseases, respiratory diseases, for example. The urban heat island effect is a phenomenon by which the temperature in the cities and especially in the city centers is higher than in the surrounding uh, rural areas. The causes of the urban heat island effect are very diverse. There are many causes. Uh, it's for example different, the causes are different in daytime compared to those uh, during nighttime. During daytime, it's very important the efficiency of the convection, also the role of evaporation, how much energy is released through latent heat or through sensitive heat. During night nighttime, it's more related to the anthropogenic heat, the landscape, the properties of the city itself. One important factor is the population. The bigger a city and the more urban it is, the more urbanized it is, then it will be higher, the urban heat island effect. To reduce the mitigation and adaptation strategies to deal with the additional heat associated to the urban heat island effect. The mitigation ones are essentially, they are more natural solutions like increasing the green surfaces in the city, which in turn increases the evaporation. And also there are more practical solutions like uh, painting buildings with colors that are more reflective of the incoming solar radiation. All the European cities are uh, seriously taking into account the problem of the urban heat island effect, especially within the context of climate change. There are solutions trying to, especially the new neighborhoods, the ones that can be designed and created now, they can mitigate the anthropogenic impact on the local microclimate.